Hello students. Firstly, I welcome all of you once again to this class. Today, we'll be solving a few questions from your textbook, Chapter Arithmetic Progressions. Before we start solving, let me just remind you a few formulas that we learned even before. We have a n equal to, that means the nth term, a plus your n minus one whole d. Next, we have Sn. Sn means sum of the first n terms equal to here n by 2 and here twice a plus n minus 1 whole d. And again we have here n by 2 then first term plus last term. Today I'll be adding more formula. One more formula. What is that? Let's see. Let me write here a n equal to s n minus s n minus 1 let me tell you what how is it if i take the value of n is 10 so i'll be writing here a 10 equal to then even here you will write 10 minus this s 10 minus 1 we have here 9 so a 10 means s 10 minus s 9 so similarly we can write a6 equal to S6 minus S5. Then A7, we have here S7 minus S6. Okay, please remember. Let me read the question for you. If the sum of the first n terms of an AP is 4n minus n square. Let me repeat. If the sum of the first n terms of an ap is for n minus n square what is mean by this what we understand is what we know is there is an ap there is an ap here for this ap the sum of the first n terms is given by 4n minus n square so sn sum of the first n terms is given by 4n minus n square that means if you want to find S10, sum of the first 10 terms, simply replace the value of N as 10. So like this, S10 will be 4 into 10 minus 10 square. So 40 minus 100, we have here minus 60. So this is how we can find. Next, what is the first term? That is S1. What is the first term? That is S1. What is the meaning of this? Let me write here one arithmetic progression here. 3, 5, here 7, here 9, and so on. If I say, if I find the sum of the first two terms, then S2, 3 plus 5, we'll get here 8. We'll get here how much? 8. <coughs> Sorry. Now, if I say S1, what does it mean actually? Sum of the first one term. That means we have only one term, means only three only. What is the sum? What is the point? So, it will represent just the first term only. So, S1 means in the meaning actually how we are going to interpret the sum of the first one term. So, when there is only one term, how we are going to find the sum? The sum will be number itself. That means it will be just representing your first term. That's why they are telling here that is S1. And next is, okay, first term. So here S1, okay. What is the sum of the first two terms? That means we have to find even S2. Next, what is the second term? That means we have to find again A2. And similarly, you find the third, the tenth, and the nth terms. That means we have to find A3, we have to find A10, and we have to find even nth term. That means An. Okay, now let's begin. Okay, solution we have.
is n equal to 4n minus n square. This is given by the question. Now let's find the first term. Therefore, the first term inside the bracket you can write S1 equal to S1 means we have to replace the value of n is 1. So wherever you find n, just put there 1. So here 4 into 1 minus 1 square. So we can write here since n equal to 1. So we have here 4 minus 1, so 3. So the first term is 3. Next, we have to find S2, sum of the first two terms. And here S2 equal to. So in place of this n, you are going to replace, you are going to write 2. So 4 into 2 minus 2 square. Let me just write here since n equal to 2. 4 into 2. 8 minus 2 square 4 so we have here 4 okay next will be we have to find the second term that means a2 okay a2 so please remember in the beginning of the class I reminded you the formula I'll just write here but for using you can say a n equal to s n minus s n minus 1 therefore a 2 equal to when it is 2 then even this n will be 2 minus here s 2 minus 1 we have here 1 so the value of s 2 is 4 minus what about s 1 we have here 3 so 4 minus 3, we have here 1. Next, we are going to find A3. Okay. So you can find this A3 in two different ways. I'll just tell you here. If I want to find A3, then it will be S3 minus S2. So how can we start this part? You can find the value of S3 and S2 separately. S2 means already we have, okay. So now we need here S3. So let me just go in this way. Let me rub this. Here A3. A3 means S3 minus S2. So we have 4n minus n square. In place of this n, we have to write 3. So, 4 into 3 minus 3 square. This part represents S3 minus, what is the value of S2? We got here 4. So, you can write here, since n equal to 3. So, 4 into 3, 12 minus 9, and we have a minus 4. So, it will be 3 minus 4, so we have here minus 1. Now, the third term is minus 1 okay then next we have to find third term we got okay next will be tenth term that means a10 a10 so here okay s9 will be equal to 4 into 9 minus 9 square here and equal to 9 so 36 minus 81 how much will have it will be minus 45 okay then we need even s10 as well so s10 will be 4 into 10 minus 10 square so here n is taken as 10 so here 40 minus 100 so we have here minus 60 so i can find the value of a10 so therefore a10 equal to S10 minus S9. So S10 value is minus 60. What about S9? We have here minus 45. Minus 45. So we have minus 60 plus 45. So minus 15. 
and the last we have the end term please pay attention this is one of the most important parts okay end end term end term that means your an let me just write here because the space is not there much here it will be sn minus here is n minus 1 the value of sn is given by the equation is 4n minus n square this part is presenting this sn minus next we have please pay attention here 4n minus sorry n square this is the value of sn now we are going to find s n minus 1 so wherever you find n you please replace n minus 1 so 4 then here n minus 1 minus here i find here n again that means n minus 1 whole square so this one let me write here so here 4 n minus 1 whole minus n minus 1 whole square 12 to here 4n minus n square minus 4 into n 4n then we have here minus 4 minus so here n square minus twice n plus 1 whole then 4n minus n square minus so we have here 4n minus 4 minus n square plus twice n and then minus 1 so 4n minus n square oh sorry minus 4n plus twice n will have 6n minus 4 minus 1 we have minus 5 then minus n square next we have to open the bracket minus into plus minus we have here 6n minus into minus plus so 5 minus into minus plus so here n square now let's see what what we can cancel okay so this minus n square and plus n square we cancel so that 4n minus 6n we have minus twice n plus 5 okay now the n term the n term a n is given by minus twice n plus 5 what does it mean okay let me just write here once now the answer is over here but let me explain this part once here a n is minus twice n plus 5 if you want to find a 1 then simply you can replace the value of n as 1 so minus 2 into 1 plus 5 so we'll have definitely 3 if you want to find the second term then here minus 2 then put the value of n as 2 then here 1 so this is how we are finding the end term okay this is not a part of your answer but I'm just explaining you so that you can understand better okay we'll move to the next question here is the question question number 12 find the sum of the first 40 integers divisible by 6 okay 40 integers this is 40 positive integers sorry this is positive positive integers starts from 1 then 2 then it goes on okay we don't consider about negative we don't consider about 0 only the positive find the sum of the first 40 positive integers divisible by 6 okay solution the first 40 integers sorry 40 positive integers which are divisible by 6 are it will be 6 next will be 12 next will be 18 and next will be 24 and just gone okay then this list of numbers forms an AP 
therefore first term will be 6 and common difference will be definitely 6 only okay we have s n equal to n by 2 then here twice a plus and minus 1 whole d therefore we are going to find s40 so here 40 by 2 then here 2 into a means 6 plus here 40 minus 1 then here 6 so 20 40 divided by 2 will be getting here 20 we can take even 6 common as well so here 6 so remaining is 2 plus 39 so 20 into 6 into 41 okay 41 into 6 6 1 is 6 6 4 24 then again 2 so 2 6 12 1 here 9 then 4 so it will be 4 9 2 0 we have 4920 this is the sum of the first 40 positive integers which are divisible by 6 okay we'll be moving to the next question okay here is the question find the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8 so the first 15 multiples of 8 are so it will be 8 16 24 32 and so on see please have a look at here let me tell you something the answer can be solved this question can be solved in two different ways they are telling the first 15 multiples so first second third fourth then even you can find the 15th one 15 means multiple of the first 15 multiples so first multiple second third fourth in the 15th one definitely you will be writing here 8 into 15 so 8 5 it will be 120 so even you can write here 120 as well nothing wrong in that or else if I don't write this part then first term will be 8 common difference will be it will be 6 only then you can apply the formula like this n by 2 then here twice a plus n minus 1 whole d but if you write this 120 you can go directly a sorry n by 2 then here first term plus last term okay so let me just do without this 120 because let me just follow the same trend so therefore okay this list of multiples but actually these are all numbers only list of numbers forms an ap so therefore first term is 8 common difference is 8 so we have sn equal to here n by 2 then 2i say plus n minus 1 whole d therefore s 15 equal to 15 divided by 2 then here 2 into a means 8 plus then here 15 minus 1 d is again 8 so 15 divided by 2 from these two I'll take 8 common so here 8 remaining is 2 plus 15 minus 1 14 so we can cancel 2 6 okay uh, sorry 2 4 or 8 so 15 into 4 into 16 so 15 into 4 60 now 16 to 16 6 6 36 3 6 1 is 6 9 so we have 960 as the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8 okay next we will be solving question number 14 okay here is the question question number 14 find the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 50 
between 0 and 50 so between 0 and 50 that means starting from 1 the next will be 3 next will be 5 next will be 7 and goes on and last will be 49 I'm writing here only the odd numbers because the question is talking about the odd numbers. So 1, 3, 5, 7, so on and 49. Okay. The odd numbers between 0 and 50 are 1, 3, 5, 7, the last will be 49. There are some terms here. Okay, now what we clearly understand is this list of numbers is an epi. There's the common difference, it's all same only. This list of numbers forms an epi. Okay, next. Therefore, first term will be 1, common difference will be 3 minus 1, so it will be. 3 minus 1, so we have here 2. We know the first term and we know the common difference. Right? We have to find the sum of this AP. Now there is a big question now. Do we know the number of terms in this AP? No, we do not know. That means we have to find the number of terms first. Okay. So. But what is the last term here? 49. So we have to apply the same formula a plus here n minus 1 whole d equal to 49 so here first term is 1 plus here n minus 1 the value of d is 2 so here 2 then we have 49 so 1 plus 2 into n twice n 2 into minus 1 minus 2 then 49 so twice n minus 1 equal to 49 so that twice n equal to 49 plus 1 so that n will be 50 divided by 2 so we have here 25 so it means that we have 25 terms so we are going to find s25 okay therefore But Sn equal to n by 2 here a plus l. Let me use apply this formula here. Therefore, S25 equal to 25 divided by 2. First term is 1. 1 plus here the last term is 49. So 25 by 2 into 49 plus 1, we have here 50. Again, cancel. So 25. 25 into 25, we have here 625.